Welcome guys to my creative corner. This is Claudette where I create projects using stamps, inks, papers, mixed media, embellishment, and a whole lot of joy. On today's tutorial, I'll be creating a fun full card using a slide and lock topper. So if this is something you're interested in, please do stick around. So this topper slides off like this. And then you would create the inside of your card. So if you're new to my channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button as well as the bell icon. So you'll be notified when I upload my latest videos. So let's get into our project. First, what you're going to need is the base of your card. And this card stock is measuring 11 by four and a quarter. And we'll go ahead and score that. So I'm going to be bringing in my trimmer and it's also a scoring tool. And we're going to go ahead and put it on the long side, the 11 inch side. And we're going to go ahead and score that at two and three fourths of an inch. Then we're going to stand that long side, but we're going to flip it over to the other end. And we're also going to score that at two and three fourths of an inch. So while you still have your um, scoring tool out, you want to have four pieces of cardstock and you want them to be the same size. And these are measuring three and a half by three and a half. And you're going to go ahead and take that and you're going to score it down the middle at one and three fourths of an inch. But you're only going to do that to two halves. So we're going to go ahead and burnish these score lines and the base of our card. And you're going to make sure those are nice and flat because we want our card to lay as flat as possible. So you're going to do that on both sides. So you want to make sure those seams are nice and tight. All right. So next, what we're going to do to make sure our slider glides nicely and is not too tight. We're just going to take one of these in and just trim off just a little sliver of it. So it'll be a little space um, in between there. So I'm going to just bring in my mini trimmer and just cut off a little piece off of that um, edge, one of the edges. Next, what I'm going to do is bring in my silicone mat. So we're going to bring in the four pieces of cardstock and the ones that we didn't score, those are going to be on the outer part. We're going to take one that has no score line on that, and that's going to be to the bottom. We're going to take one that has a score line and we're going to fold that in half. And then we're going to give that a nice crease. And you want to make sure they are even as possible. So we're going to go ahead and also crease the other square that has the um, score on that. So these are going to be our two pieces that's going to create our sliding mechanism. And we're going to glue that on to the bottom like this. All right. So let's go ahead and take some glue. I am going to use my liquid glue. And I am using the glitter art glue because with the glitter art glue, what I like about it is if you get any seepage, outside of your card, it does not dry tacky. And it dries clear. And that's what I like about the glitter art glue. Because sometimes my hand could get heavy handed. So you're only gluing down that bottom. And that's how the flap is opening there. So we're going to take the next square that we fold and we're going to add that right here to the other side. So you're going to butt that right up to that one. And so therefore your card should be looking like this. 
then you're going to bring in the top part of your square and then that's going to glue down and sandwich that down okay and it's going to be open like that but before i do that i want to go ahead and stamp a sentiment on this card so the stamp set that i'm going to be using the sentiment i'm going to say thank you for your kindness so i'm going to go ahead and stamp that the products that i'm using are stampin up products i'm an independent stampin up demonstrator i'm going to be listing all the supplies and the measurements in the description down below if you're interested in any of these products and i am going to come in with our misty moonlight which is a blue and i'm going to go ahead and stamp that sentiment on and i'm going to just go ahead and stamp that right here in the middle I came out a little crooked, so I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and try it again on the opposite side. Okay, that's a little better. So next, what I'm going to do is run this through the Tasteful Textile Embossing Folder. So I'm going to go ahead and run this through our embossing machine, and I shall be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So whenever you're embossing and you want to stamp your sentiment, I would recommend that you stamp first and then you emboss afterwards, okay? Okay, so next what I want to do to, to this top layer, I want to add a little bit of ribbon to it. So in this case, I want to go ahead and design my top layer before I stick it down to the remainder of the... Uh, squares so I'm just gonna cut a couple pieces of ribbon so I'm gonna add some scotch tape so I could secure my ribbon to the back of this card So we'll do the same thing to the other ribbon. So next what we're going to bring back in our silicone mat with the, the rest of those squares and we're going to go ahead and glue this top portion to this piece and then we'll glue this down here to this top so then it'll be looking like this all right so we're just sandwiching that making sure our edges are even going to make sure that that's pressed down good and no glue gets in between that so I'm just going to put my silicone mat in between those and this is how the sliding mechanism is going to look okay your slider so next what we're going to do is bring in the base of our card and we're going to go ahead and design that and I've got some printed paper or designer series paper. These designer series paper are cut two and five eighths by four and one eighths. And we're gonna go ahead and add some multi-purpose glue to the back of that. And we're gonna layer that on one half. And you just wanna make sure you have an even amount of the yellow spaces all around. I'm just going to bring back in my silicone mat. And then when you're doing the other side, you want to make sure your edges are equal. That is matching the other side. So we're going to go ahead and add some glue. 
as well to this side if you guys are getting any creative value from this video please go ahead and smash that like button down below so at this stage what we're going to do is go ahead and bring our topper in and what we're going to do is try to just put your fingers in between that and open that mechanism and you're going to slide it over those two halves and bring that in okay so i think it needs a little bit of something else i'm going to add a dragonfly to that so also in this stamp set they, it's called dragonfly garden they have this dragon right here that i'm going to go ahead and stamp and i'm going to um, use the same color this uh, misty moonlight color which is that blue i'm going to bring in a white piece of cardstock so we'll get our um, dragonfly out, add him to a clear block, and we'll go ahead and bring in our ink. And this is in the misty moonlight. We'll go ahead and ink him up and just stamp him out right here. This set also comes with a dragonfly punch. It's a double punch. It has, you could punch, create smaller dragonflies as well as the larger ones. So we're gonna go ahead and put him in the punch and punch him out. All right, so then we'll just add him here to our topper. And I'm going to add him right down in this corner. So you could design the inside of the card as you would like. Let me bring in a couple others that I created. So you could create these with any shapes, these toppers with any shapes. This is the one that I showed you guys earlier and I used the oval shape for this one. Then I did one with a Valentine's heart. So I hope you guys got creative value from this video. This is Claudette. Get out there and be creative and I'll catch you guys on the next video.